Yeah. <laughs> okay, start nicely now. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. What a lovely day. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, our last week's picture. Oh. No one did it. It was only Chrissy, wasn't it? Did you do? No, I oh. sent you one this morning. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. I didn't do it. Is it in my email? Um, yeah, I sent it. To, yeah, I sent it to you. And if it didn't go, it ain't gone. It doesn't come through. Otherwise, I'd have spotted it. Oh, okay. Let me go and get my phone. <laughs> I don't panic about it. It's, <laughs> it's not. It's not. <clears throat> this pitch. Um, that Chrissy, you sent me two. Was one an early stage of this of the second one? No, no, the one was the, I'd accidentally um, brightened it and sent the wrong one. I was just playing around with the filters. Oh, right. And the first one, the first one, I I don't know what I'd done to it, but it was very bright and it was almost disappeared. Oh, you've got your rocks good. I have a oh, job yeah. on those. God, yeah. I was fed I up with those. Yeah. I used some yeah. modeling paste on them just to... Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can sense that now you've said it, yeah. Mm. yeah quite interesting. Cool. Very lovely sky as well. Yeah, yeah. I was pleased with the sky, the sea. Mm. I just yeah. get right. Well done. That's good. Mm. Mm. All right, hang on a minute. Yeah, because I saw this one and I thought, hang on. Yeah. Is no, it that the same one. as that one? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was, but I just accidentally sent the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, I guess that. So I didn't bother <laughs> with the putting two up. Oh, mm, yeah. Even though, it, thanks for that, it gave it the, it was called the Umbrella Babes for a couple of hours. <laughs> 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 yeah. I just had a look to see if anybody else had done one. I thought, well, hang on a minute. <laughs> it's called my Umbrella Babes. It's when I, right. up, when I, I just sent it. that. I don't know whether it's come through. When I upload it to the gallery, I don't, uh, more often than not, I edit the previous picture or a similar picture, copy yeah. the description and paste it in the other one. Of course, if you forget the title, <laughs> it ends up being the same title. Mm. <laughs> Quite fun, that. Mm. Carol's just okay. sent no, nothing coming. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's it'll, it'll come through in a little while. <laughs> 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 My one, I put my one on, um, no, it, what is it? Oh, that's a bit smaller version. That's, that's more, mm. looks nicer like that. Yeah, yeah. A bit distant, mm. bit further away. Yeah, yeah, probably, you know, about half a mile away, it looked really good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, was just, I always said that about my pictures. <laughs> they look good from Bournemouth Pier, looking back. Oh. <laughs> the, um, but that, the um, video, on um youtube it's broken all the records oh, <laughs> oh here's yeah. carol's hang on i got in a mess with all the rock bits <clears throat> okay, let me got time two six uh ba, 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 share screen you will not you will go to the ball carol well i all oh, right there you go <laughs> <laughs> that's is that a carol yeah, yeah that's good. Yes. really yeah. good yeah i can give me a set control y i like mm. the bottoms of the rocks where you've got them you know mm. like all seaweedy where mm. the mm. yeah. i can yeah. zoom in Woo! Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It wasn't that, that wasn't, oh, wow. Yeah, it wasn't that easy, was it? Getting the no, That's why I said I, I was quite, hmm, quite apprehensive about it, uh, you know, about <laughs> how to approach it and get it how yeah. I want it. But no, well done. That's very yeah. nice. Hang on a minute. While I've got it there, I'll save it. Right, this week's going to be a bit difficult, isn't oh, it? Oh, don't go there. I am so. Why did you choose that? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, 
he oh. thought this will challenge him. Yeah, God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so probably. So perhaps we just do a stripe down the middle or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's horrendous, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. No, I'm, I'm, I, I'm a lot of things, but I'm, I'm honest. <laughs> I <don't, laughs> well, I don't recall lying about much. Um, it's one of those pictures, hang on, where is it? That uh, you would normally touch with a barge pole. Yeah. No, I'd look at <laughs> Why are we doing it? <laughs> You look at it and you think, well, let some other artist do that. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's a bit I like, thought, a bit like I, Weymouth one, isn't it? You know, with the buildings and the reflections. Could be, yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh, all that reflection. Awesome. Yeah, that's but like I said on the, in my note, that, um, that if you can, I mean, we ain't going to crack much of it in the short term this morning, but do a bit but if you can nail this um harbor you've you've arrived oh. okay that's a challenge <laughs> yeah i mean mr train spend there's all color artists that oh just artists that, that spend their whole life painting hot, uh, in on floor it's mm. like um French version of um, St. Ives, I suppose, or, or something like that. But uh, I'm, I'm thinking, Mighty high campers. This is just a just a quick doodle paper. I think she looks nice. Um, yeah, how I approached this subject and drew it out. I've got this. What I've done. My inks. Got this detail paper. And I've used the detail paper from Frisk. I'll let you know what I'll write down in the comments what a link to where it is. It is. Get it off before it affects something. Yeah, what I did. So I, I buy a two pad of this stuff, and um, I just fold it up and cut it into a three because that's invariably what I put the size that I paint, quarto size of a full a full out sheet cut into four watercolor paper. Um, yeah, so what I did, stretch my bit of paper like I normally do, and I just taped a piece of the frisk on top of it so I get a rough idea of what's what. And initially, you, can, you might should be able to see there's a, a line down the centre, both sides. So I just use my ruler. Oh, there it is. Just use this marked middle line there in the middle center line there for the right and I'm fortunate that I get a T square but you can wrangle it with a, a large book or something and just drew a center line one way and a center line the opposite way hopefully you can might zoom out from Yeah. yeah, anyway. So once I take that on, 
I've got a center line running down here. What I've done then is using my trusty pencil, I've decided on which building is in the center. I've gone for this one and just started the sketch from there. So I've put pencil line, just drawn that building with a pencil. The way I did it, when I do do it, I'm not trying to find that blank shape. Let's put this there. Yeah, so the way I tend to do it, I've got my center line all the way here, going down. And start. I, mean, I, te I, I tend to start top down, so you can draw a faint line where you think the building is. Use a ruler. <laughs> it's too early in the morning. Faint line, and then just go for it. It did take quite a while. And what I will do, what I tended to do was go for the windows. So I've got, I've put a straight line for that, the top of the roof. Top of the roof. And there's another shorter line for those two windows. There's a space, almost equal distance to the size of the windows, not far off. And we've got these windows, they're slightly larger than that. So make this next line slightly larger. You can, if you think you're gonna get lost, like I, oh, I did on several games, it might be prudent to put a couple of lines in. Sitting there, that's a window line. When you look at these windows, and they are more or less centered, a bit closer to there. I actually do this, and there's a space there for them, which is almost identical to that. <clears throat> and that but these windows are slightly longer, so we're now on the second layer of windows. I'll just keep going like that. It took a while to do the whole um, shenanigan. This has got a sloping roof. Chimney. This one's roof goes across. So now you've already started on the next the next one. I would have filled all these windows in. That's assuming you've got all these windows in. Blah, 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 blah. And then you take a, a pointer from this bin. Once you've got this one building in, everything else follows from it. That's not all right. Yeah. Okay. Everything else follows from it. So then you can take a line across there because it's just above that part of the chimney. And it goes. I treated these as two separate buildings. So I've taken the space from there to there. A bit like technical drawing, really. <laughs> A couple of straight lines down. And then for this next bit, we're looking at the windows here. They seem to start, the first window starts just above that line of that one. So I can draw, do what I did before. Just stick a grid in. You put your windows in. And just keep going. And I just kept doing that all the way along. And eventually, I have pencil drawing, actually, pretty much like I've got on here. Then I added the couple of parasols at the bottom, the boat, the key line, 
straight across. And then what I did, and what I've done, is I've used fine, this is a Sharpie actually. I've got a couple of these pens. These some um, prominent pens. There's one here that's a, I don't know if it is permanent or not. It seems to be. This is liquid ink as well. And then once I've sketched it on to the detail paper, a bit of kitchen parchment if you haven't got any. So I went over it with this pen, over all my pencil lines. Sounds a bit long winded, but it didn't take, doesn't take that long once you get going. What I was doing actually, I was, I set myself, I draw one building. So I started with this one, drew that one. Then I moved across to this one, drew that, sat down, <laughs> check my emails just put it around for a few minutes and I thought right let's get on it and then did the next building I just kept doing that every sort of because each building only takes about five minutes to do but I was just sort of doing one possibly one and a bit a part of the other one and then sort of walking away coming back and setting myself little timely challenges worked out quite well actually anyway so once I've done it where is it just about there it's like I missed a piece off there as well okay it's always good to come back no it's on there that's fine but it should be on here a bit of that roof back of the roof yeah, and once I've done that, then I've got the um, carbon paper. Decided where I want, well, I know where it wants to go, roughly. Give myself plenty of room. And I can use the masking tape, take this down. A bit spare, but it helps. I'll put the trace down, carbon paper, put that underneath. And spent a pleasant few minutes with a biro just going over my drawing. And then the piece of resistance, take the Take this, turn it over, and you can use that boat one there as a guide. Stick that down, just to make sure it's visually more or less there. And then we did exactly the same thing upside down. It was quite fun. The result is. Uh, Sort of mirror image. And my next bit of fun I thought I'd do was take the um the fine line pen and just go over a few bits of the drawing. Bring out a few bits. Probably all of it actually. Is permanent pens, so it's not going anywhere. But I think the common consensus is try to avoid dead straight lines. Um, I don't know. That is a window, yeah. But your pencil lines will keep 
give you a good guide. We'll use this opportunity to straighten some of them out. As my previous, I think one of the secrets of using these pens is not to and grip them tight. Grip them. You know, don't grab, don't grab them like that. Restriction. Just treat them. Just hold them delicately. Then go over the fucking whole lot again. Hopefully I'll get nice straighter lines. You can see it soon builds up. Gives me a second opportunity to make all my windows a bit wonky, but fairly uh, straight and or not. They'll never be that straight because I'm not that good an artist. This one's got a double thing on. You can put some extra detail in. Really, just let you want to learn little squares, rectangles even. <laughs> but I don't want it to be dead accurate. One, two, three, four. A nice strong line across there. Nice to get the window lined up a bit more. Get the gift. What I'll do is I'll pause the video and. Uh, <laughs> I'll do some more. I need to sit down and just do what I said earlier. I'll just do one area, go and check my emails, pop her around, come back, and gradually build it back up. There we go. So I've just gone over pencil lines. Just see. Oh, the microphone. Just gone over the pencil lines with this. It's a sharpie, as it happens, which I'm a bit hmm, dude or about. <clears throat> That's the wall, top of the wall. This is the bottom of it. I'm not drawing this straight out. There's a few dots to do. I notice this paper is quite absorbent. I'm not sure what to do about this bit. The bottom, the reflection. I'm tempted to leave it alone. Just use the top as the basis for painting it. I, as I paint things on here, then I'll paint them down there. I might. Be, one of the pencils I use is a black one. One of these things. Been in the garden scene. Um. Of, and they're much, they're quite strong. So there's no reason why I couldn't. Put some extra depth on the reflection. 
mirror. Point me in the right direction, mate. Right? Oh, okay. Have to be a little bit. Mm -hmm. Point seven. That's quite thick, you see. That one. This is it just says ultra fine point. So point seven oh. is that. Ultra fine point is not much difference, is it? I have to get an a 0 0.2 version. I think this is actually funny. What the heck? We'll go over quite a few of these quickly with a I'm just nervous. Wow. Where are you? as soon as I think I'll just do Roughly the doodle sketch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, this chimney's down here. Give me the opportunity to put quite strong colour washes down. So really I've sketched it twice. There's more or less how I wanted to Draw it to be quite honest. Like a good way to do, do all the down lines, <laughs> do the verticals, and then come back. No point in going too careful on these bits because they're all going to be. It's water, isn't it? So we want them to be wiggly diddly. Ripply. Ripply. Is that a word? Rip ripple lee. Could be an ice cream. You get the gist these bits here. Yeah. You find them right. The thing about this pen, if I remember rightly, that it isn't totally waterproof. Some pens aren't, some pens are. It doesn't say permanent, chances are it might be a little bit of an in-betweener. Which I think down on the in the water would be quite nice if it if the the um the ink does sort of Bleed a bit. It's going to be a lot of painting going on, isn't it? As well, we paint up the top, we're going to have to duplicate down the bottom. Look for a little spider mark. Let's see the pencil lines, so it's a chimney now, isn't it? We were drawing and painting, it's paint drawing upside down. Happy day for that. But as you can tell, 
using the um, detail paper and tracing it down saves so much time. I don't know, I don't want it to be a supersonic sketch. I don't know why I've got this vision in my head of it being really loose. Mm -hmm. Being left handed is really awkward, you know that. You just sort of got to be so conscious of not going over what you've already painted or sketched in this case. Mm -hmm. But you can see how fussy I'm being. The way I'm doing it, keep the pen on the paper. Yeah. Yeah. Always looks a bit, it's going to look a bit funny until put some paint, paint on. <clears throat> on Amazon in a minute, so if I can get some, oh, this is 0.7, so if I can get some 0.2 variations of this. Once you've done this, you didn't, um, Use the detail paper and do it like I did. This would be a new way. It'll just drive you mad. It's really nice. I prefer this to that. We must turn it upside down. Nice pen. The um, this bit in here is going to have all the figures in. So this is going to be just a a, a mass wiggle with the um, brush. When I get around to paint it, yep, that's pretty cool. That well, it might be. Hmm. See how it goes, won't we? To have a, to do it um, fast and loose, if that's the word. I'm not mucking mm. about because I don't, <laughs> well, I'm just oh, going to, I'm just going over. <laughs> no, we're just going to go for it. You've done the hard bit. You've got the picture there ready to colour. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's never like that though, is it? Could you number it? Can we do painting by numbers? <laughs> well, I did send the... Um, we could do it in blocks, couldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Can't, could we not do it like I've seen some of New York or, or something, and then they just, the, the colours just sort of go into the water, don't they? Sort of merge, yeah. mm, like you yeah. just let it run down. <laughs> mm. Well, I, probably that's what I'll end up with anyway. Um, I was thinking, well, well, that's why I sent the video of how I drew it. Oh, I didn't see that. It's on the email I sent you for today. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have time. I only looked at it this morning quickly. Yeah. Well. I'll add it to the video I do today. We do now. I'll put it on there as well at the front. 
so you can fast forward to what we get up to this morning. But I'll, I'll add it on the front. Right. It explains it a bit. Mm. Uh, did I do? Did I change the thing over? Yeah. Well, Oh Yeah, it did take it did take a, a few minutes to draw that. I should think it did. Mm. I should think for more than a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Well, yeah, because as you'll see on the little video, I am. Um, Where I, do you start? I, <laughs> Well, I put links on the video for um, on the note for the detail paper that I used as well. Yeah. The Frisk stuff. And what else? Can't remember now. Brain's gone dead. Because everyone, but because uh, you can draw on this and paint on it if you have to, if you want to. Oh. And use it. It works really well. Oh, and for the um. A link for the tray stain place. I think Amazon was best best for that. But yeah, it took a while to draw. But the <laughs> but you don't need to draw it once. <laughs> uh, last a lifetime that one. And the beauty is to do the other do the reflections and turn it upside down. Oh, and you oh, can do. That's, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah, the key just briefly. The I mean the key. For me, anyway, the key bit was because I just taped it on my board on top of the white paper so I could know I'm roughly there. Then I just used my pencil, but I, I measured the center and drew a center line down that way and the same the other way with my ruler, marked it and put a center line. So I've got two straight lines and then I used one line for one building just con I just did that building first the one in the middle mm -hmm. yeah yeah and everything else follows off of it because if you look at it with your pencil you're stood there with your pencil so you do this building and you think ah oh, look there's a, like a little window there yeah right so we draw that one over there and then there's that route and just do one at a time mm. one thing I did do was um once i i drew my middle line and then sort of looked at the paper and thought right that, that there's a building there and that's about that wide so i put a line next one oh that's a bit shorter that one so i put him a bit shorter next one's wider so that went over there you know and just oh. did that so i and then i could draw a straight line using a book or whatever because i've got an horizon line here a dead straight line here so all i need is a book and i can put the book along that line and just mark it put a line down and then all i did i just looked at the windows i just concentrated on the windows and i put like a double line double line double line and then put cross down you'll see on the video it's the easiest way to do it because i didn't want to i don't want to be a technical drawer but it was a nightmare <laughs> i did all that on the on this detail oh, paper, the pencil <laughs> and then once i'd done that i don't know why i did it now thinking about it i'm not sure why i did it why i did it but i, I used the, um one of these fine line drawing pens sharpie this is a sharpie which is quite thick actually but i put a link to um the drawing pens on the email i sent as well and they're these were only about five i think on ebay on amazon and they, there was a set there for one's 0 0.5 one is 0 0.2 and the other one's like a little brush one so you could do some really thick lines they last quite a while and that, so then once I penciled it, then I went over it with one of these. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. I oh, suppose, oh, because it rubs on the detail paper. If you don't put a, if you're not going to use it straight away, 
as you rubbing around, you know, doing this, it rubs the, the other pencil lines out, makes them really soft. So that's why I do that. And then use a, bi a ballpoint, a biro, once it's on there with the, the um, tray stand carbon paper underneath, then I can just go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh with the biro over the top. But I didn't hang about with that. And then when I got to that side, then I went over it again with a pen, uh, mark one of these mm. fine line pens. <gasps> what a laugh that was. <laughs> My palette today, I'm just sticking with this one, I think. What's not, I've got a picture of Margaret Thatcher here somewhere. There she is. Bless her. <laughs> she could be my pencil, my protector. The only reason I don't use this pen, this um, thing in the past, because no one can actually see the colours that I'm doing, because it's so big. Oh, God. It's massive. I don't know if I could put it over that side. Being left out now, it doesn't even show up over there. Rest assured. One thing that um, I don't know if Kaz or anyone else for that matter. I'm just going to turn it upside down. You won't notice the difference because. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you might a little bit. It's a little bit fainter. That's the only way I could do it. I thought if I make that one fainter, it'll yeah. be the reflection. But I just want to make the... I just thought I'd do a sky first. Once I crack, and then I'm going to crack on. Come on, come on. I've got this... In my mindset, if I do it fast, it, I'll get the the result that I've got in my mind's eye. <laughs> I'm, what an idiot. I'm sure it won't. Anyway, I've got over here on the palette, I've got some raw sienna. I think it's raw sienna. It's, it looked, you know, like, see? Better that. Oh, gosh. I think it's got ants in it. <laughs> bits of sun, well, it's got bits of sun in it. I, I was tempted, um, I was thinking about it yesterday afternoon, I was doodling away. I don't know what the devil that is. There's bits in my paint. Oh, oh dear. Maybe this. If it wasn't watercolour, you'd think it had, had a skin on it. Anyway. I'm sticking, I was thinking last night of um, doing like a sunset -y sky. <laughs> and I thought, mm, maybe not. Because it will detract from all the light, the yellowy bits that's going to come on the buildings. Anyway, that's raw sienna. And I've... Well, I think it's raw sienna. It's that sort of shade, isn't it? Raw sienna. It's, it looks like that in your bot in your palette. It's sort of a yellowy, perfect yellow. And on top of that, I'm just going to use a bit of blue, some light blue, bit of neon blue. Really, not shouldn't have really used that blue. That I think it's Prussian blue, or something like it. What I was hoping it would get a. If you use the if you use the wrong blue, it's it'll overpower it. But if you use the right blue, a lighter one, it'll go a slightly greyish tone, which is what I wanted. There you go. Oh dear. I'm still using this. This is that red dot. Um, brush that I was using for the last couple of weeks now. Anything with a nice point on it, I'm sort of attracted to it. Well, I thought it'd just be nice to show that you can use raw sienna in the sky with blue, and it's 
it's quite nice. Look at that. Plenty of clean towel well, tissues here. The water's, my water's run down. You can get some really nice skies using that um, raw sienna and Right, the next bit, I decided, if I can find, I can't even find the, re the reference picture. What I thought I'd do, my workflow is I'm going to paint quickly lots of the yellow orangey bits, the lights effectively. Might even sit on a stool for this. And it's just going to be a, a mix of yellow and orange, and yellow, orange, and or. Because I don't, all these colours in here don't really mean much to me. I just think of it, there's the blues, there's the yellows, there's some reds over here, green and darky, horrible things up there, really burnt umbers and all the rest of it. The end of the picture is over there. The beginning's down here, like that. I've always been like that. Just look at it and think, well, it needs a bit of orange, needs a bit of yellow. It'd be difficult to blend anything in this palette because it's got so, so much yuck in it. Anyway, I think my plan is just to go. Do, 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 do. Anywhere you see, oh, I think I might lose the word. No, that's okay. Anywhere I see yellow, or I think it's yellow, I'm just going to dab it on from there. Only trouble is, well, with this picture, everything's going to be a trouble. Um, Whatever you do at the top, <laughs> you've got to do below. Oh. No. No. It's right in the sky, that. Mm. Nice and wet. So, yeah. I think I'll um, stick with the one colour for a minute. Bit of lemon, yellow even, it's floating around, isn't it? Da -da 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 -da. This one's a bit lighter, but obviously if you're doing it, um, off piece, so to speak, you can take your time and do it really, you know, make a really good meal of it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I was hoping it will come together. The trouble is, there's so many square boxes here. I, you lose the the plot. You think, well, I don't know what's what here. So I think there's going to be some on mine that are yellow that shouldn't be yellow, and some on the other one. Oh, I see what I've done there. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I think you should just try. I think the plan, my thinking is to pretend on there and somebody says, you've only got an hour to paint this. Mm. Well, a bit like watercolour challenge or something, you know, you haven't got a lot of time to do it. Just trying to think where this is. But it's this brush is probably ideal because it's got a point on it, isn't it? So you can just put, you can almost draw with the brush. And hopefully tease out some doodah from the what's it? That's technical stuff there. Just going to turn my board upside down a minute because I noticed the sky was really wet and it's sort of traveling. 
That's the way to look at it. Might have to tissue that. <gasps> Dribbled. It's gone a bit wild, isn't it? It's because I'm at a, a bit of an angle here. So anyway. Where am I going here? So I've got to follow my own drink, my own drawing there, am I? Not the one, well, something like that. Luckily these brushes hold quite a bit of, the bottom ones, oh yeah, down there, that do. Anyone says, oh, that shouldn't have a reflection there, and I wouldn't have that. If they're that pedantic. I'm, I'm not going to speak to them. <laughs> I um, was speaking to um, Alan Hayden yesterday. Hi, Al, if you, you don't listen to my videos. But they had the um, Muddyford um, Fest Art festival thingy one two three four one two three four um on saturday and sunday the weekend i just rang up see how he got on i said he'd done quite well oh, so. it's always nice to know put some across there now i want some orange don't i so i've got some orange in my palette and anywhere where there's, or where there's yellow, I'm going to just stick a bit of orange around it. Ah, those are bright spots of orange down here. So it's not yellow, is it? It's sort of an orangey. Well, in, in between. Entwined. Oh, that's a nice word. I was entwined with my art. My artist was entwined with his painting. Well, I think the art, the art um, probably went all right on Saturday, but Sunday it was a bit of a hoolie. A bit damp. I was going to go down there. Some, but Sunday, um, oh, I know why I didn't. James had a bit of a relapse, so he had to go to Mel took him to hospital for the day. Mm. Very nice. <laughs> so she was up in A&E for a little while. Is he okay now? Pardon? Is he okay now? Yeah, he seems a lot better. They gave him... Um, some rehydration on a drip in and some something to ease the pain I suppose but they said he's um it, it looked like he his white blood cells was were higher than the they the other ones so he, the doctor said it looks like you've probably caught a Gastric bug of some description. You thought oh, that red wine didn't agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say that. So anyway, yeah. So, so I couldn't go on. I was going to go over there on Sunday and go and have a laugh. I might do it next year. Book a table why not eh you've got lots of pictures it's only two days mm -hmm. have a bit of fun what i could do um uh, no i'm not i've just had a mental thought i could just use my i've got some there use my spray hand sprayer just to especially on the bit of the bo the bottom bit, to make it drizzle. Okay. 
Wow. Look at that. Finished. <laughs> uh, I thought I might just um I've got spray the bottom one. Only just leave it. It's only about fifteen degrees. What's the trick? Yeah, why not? I use my tissue just to take a few bits off on it. Looking for randomness, aren't we? Nothing too. Yes. Don't think it would run over that side, isn't it? Then I've got my hair to wear, and I'm going to dry the whole lot off. Interesting, isn't it? Look Anytime when it dries, it goes to run it. Then it just flew off your hair. Oh. Well, that'd be the undercolor for the, the next bit. I might disappear for a sec. My um, reference sheet flew off. Gotcha. Right, oh, right. I think I might just, um, next stage, I think, is Windows. Mm -mm. I'm going to make a space in my palette. I need to mix. Nice to have a bit of a space to put some tame colour on. Bit of blue, cerulean blue, just to really, you know, it's, yeah, just this just a bit of sky blue, really, and just have a laugh, poke it in the windows, and drop it in with the tip of the brush, wherever it goes, who knows. And then dry that off. Hopefully, she'll give a nice. Not as blue as I think it. I thought it was blue. It's gone a bit greyish. I'm just dabbing it onto it. I want speed, I don't want precise prettiness. Do this well with, um, water, with a pencil, I should think, a watercolour pencil. Would work um, quite well. There's a lot of flipping windows in there, aren't there? <laughs> But like I said, whatever you do at the top, you have to do it all over again down the bottom. 
light blue. Mix it up with some dark blues as well. I mean, it, Is, um, one of the things I was thinking earlier was to um, do this bit. I might be, if it was a commission or something that was doing, you know, at leisure, I might be tempted to do what I'm doing here, fill in all the all the light bits and then use some masking fluid over the windows <laughs> just just do it like this just Not going a, down there <laughs> no just as a just do it like a dollop you know nothing flash so that when you um Later on, this uh, well, the next stage, start painting in the sea and the buildings. You could do quite strong washes without disturbing the the nice, you know, this work that you're doing now. I'm going to make some darker blue now. No fear on this boy. I'm going to twine it here and there. It's always bound to get not dark enough, no, is it? That'll do it. <laughs> this is um that Prussian blue colour. It's their St. Petersburg's paint, so it could well be um Royal blue, I think it's royal blue, but some um, the um, Saint Petersburg interpretation of Prussian blue, and it's really strong. It doesn't. You can see it's once you put it on, it doesn't it stains into the paper big time. But you can, if you do it quicker, well, fast, quickly. You'll get that randomness. If you do it, if you've got a pointy brush like this as well, you can put an X, like a cross. Just sort of go like down and across with the brush. Might give it a nice 3D effect. For later on, when you put the window, you get some white. Just put a little bit of white on where the window is on. And some dark. <laughs> it's never in there. <laughs> oh, that's a funny laugh, that is. Make your pardon. Mm -hmm. I should say, it's quite a busy sketch. But well, once, once you, once you've done the, the main bit, the rest becomes boring because it's just like drawing little squares. I mean, dozens of them. <laughs> That's all right. You don't mind. While we're, while I'm here, I'll mix up some shadowy dark color. I've got um, some shadow here. On the palette, if I add a bit of, oh, I don't know, I don't know what's, what the colours are in this palette. I think I just dip the brush in black. So goodness knows what's going to happen there. Well, I'm sticking with my thing. Just stick a dollop of black in each of the windows, or 
randomly going down. This really should be a bit more scientific and say um, all down one one particular side of the window, the left hand side or the right hand side. I haven't got time for that. Did you say you had a new carer, Carol? Well, they just well, it's the same company, but they they move them around. Peter doesn't like it. They oh, they just find it so hard to keep the same one all the time. Uh, nightmare. Yeah. David's um, wife's nan is in ninety two and. They managed to get her into hospital. Mm. I can't remember what he said was wrong. I don't think I, I listened actually. But the problem was they they wouldn't take her in hospital. Mm. They had to send a video, or her, her daughter did, into the hospital proving that she was compass mentis. Because oh, they at ninety two they don't they don't want you in hospital. Mm. Because they can't get you home, can't get you out. It's that bed blocking malarkey, and I think they're having that problem now. They've helped her out a lot, but she's yeah. now they've got to find someone to care for her when she gets home. Yeah. Oh, it's a nightmare. It seems to be that that month at the moment where everyone's poorly. My mum's poorly. Jimbo's been poorly. My dad's got his problem as well now. Mm. Yeah, oh dear. On the plus side, um, well, nice bit, I suppose. Got our um, 40th wedding anniversary next month. Ninth, I think it's the 9th of September. Mm. So, Emerald. Oh, it's me. You Google it for me. Oh, I never know what. Emerald. Um, I told Mel it was the coal. <laughs> Trying to save money, right? <laughs> what a wicked boy. <laughs> well, I ain't got, when you ain't got no money, any way of saving it is handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You mean you're not going to buy you an emerald necklace or something? No. <laughs> How about an emerald green jumper? <laughs> when I was, when we first got married and bought our first house, I gave Melanie the, all the bank stuff and she looked after it ever since. So I don't physically have any means of getting any money, <laughs> which isn't too bad, is it? I don't know why, but I'm drawn to putting some more yellow in these. I've put black, black in it, but I think it looks really nice. You know, sometimes when you get a color, what it could do actually, because it ref to reflect the sky, let's use some raw sienna instead. Because I've used it in the sky. So there's a dollop of that. I'll just put a few, few bits of that around. I'm going to dry this off in a sec. Yeah, so of I think we went for our after our wedding we went to the Isle of Wight for I think it was a week or something. Brentnor. Mm -hmm. So I thought mm. Mel was thinking perhaps we could, you know, go and stay over there for a little while, find somewhere, you know, right. The places that we went to are no longer around. And um if you want to stay in one of the 
places on the beach or near the beach where we were before, it's £295 a month a night. Mm. I thought, yeah, that, that'd do. We'll, we'll do that then, shall us? <laughs> mm-hmm. Woke up from the horrible dream nightmare. <laughs> Try this up again. of yeah so um i think i checked out this morning the um the ferry to the uh, on a white for a day you know you could just go for the day go and have a sniff around bent nor fish and chips something like that i've just mixed up a gray here which was just a bit of blue and burnt sienna any old grey, and I'm just going to paint all the roofs with a dollop of grey. But in true fashion, I'm going to leave oh, leave some white here and there. Da -da 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 -da. If I think, um, well, my thinking on it is if you do it in stages, so whatever you do to the top, you repeat on the bottom. <laughs> if you can see up, read upside down, it's not easy, I know. It'll do some good stare, mirror it a bit. So that's today's thing, really. Painting mirrors. Mm -hmm. I've got this grey, so one side of the chimney is light and the other side is dark. So I can use this same. Well, I think that bit would probably be right down there, wouldn't it? We're well, using these pens, as Andy, because when you paint on it, it doesn't disappear like it normally does. Oh, look at this. There was a dollop of paint here, just there on the palette, and it turns out, it, I think it's burnt umber, which is what I wanted to mix with that blue, or a blue. Well, a bit of nothing. A bit of stroke of luck there, so I can get a dark, not grey, well, sort of a dark grey. And then I'm going to put it on the front of the chimneys, or the line of it, thin line. How many weeks is it I've been using this brush now? I might as well throw the rest away, this is the only one I'm, I'm using. <laughs> While we've got the dark on, we can find a few shadows. Here and there. Have to get to do the same at the bottom. Right? It's just the front, isn't it? Doesn't matter as so much with the bottom because you want it to be all sort of diddly doo dah technical term. Oh, that one. There's a chimney there that hasn't, hasn't arrived. Forgot to draw it in. Question of a bit of funny, isn't it? Well, good, what, yeah, once I've got a bit of dark on my brush, anything's possible. I wonder what happens if I flick it. Ah, oh, that's too much blue. Stupid. 
put some wind, wind ledges on. And there's Paris, um, what are those things called? Balconies, aren't there? Some of the houses. Which I ain't going to draw them. I just want to. People might think they're there. Oh, I've got a bit of. Oh. I don't want to go too mad there because I want to put some semblance of figures in there. Um, I want it on the roof, don't I? Dark. I think it's dark enough. These spots here and there. Ooh. I think Picasso. Turner. Sat there on a Freezing cold afternoon, thinking I've got to paint this somehow. And just doodle away. Put some more on the bottom. Pretend that you're looking at the top ones to match it when you're not. And you spit more grey here and there, I think. I'm just using the very point of that brush to paint some window ledges and some doodles, technical term for things that are dark shapes. Always dark. Need a bit more of that grey out from down here. That's why I've got the bollock of it. And then What's going on there? Just to simulate it. Um, I think I'll just dry it off quickly. It's Murphy colours now. Um, mix up a bit of flesh. Anyone remember how we do that? Off hand. Bit of that. Tube. It comes. <laughs> <laughs> bit of light red. Uh, some raw sienna, I think. Right. My sense of humour went right over him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wasted. <laughs> Get out of the tube. Yeah. <laughs> now it's the fun bit because I dried dried it off so now I've just got to pick out the colour for each house and I chose flesh for this one or fleshy tone and I think I can have a little bit of it down there as well so it was Light red or alzer and crimson with a touch of raw sienna. Seems to work quite nice, but you can always add a bit of yellow, make it lighter. And see what I'm, I'm just using almost. Um, Just water, really. That bit, yeah. I'm happy now. Um, you, you get to a, st a stage of on a Tuesday morning, I think, oh, it's all going pear shaped. But it doesn't seem to be that at the moment. Early days. I think, well, you know, doing that, getting it drying bits off is probably a 
do a bit, dry it. Seems to be the key key thing for me at the moment. Um, a little bit of that light blue. No, that's clever. Nah. No. I'll use the side of the paper. Bit more water, do you think? Bit off, put it down there. Hopefully it'll fade back. No, it won't. <laughs> it's stronger colour than just wanted it to be Dulux Ultra Light Blue. Mm -hmm. See, there's trouble with some of these colours. If you don't, I'm not that sort of into that technical sort of angle of it but if you if you're not careful the um they'll be quite staining so you've got watching it this is quite a dark bit over here i think if you use the point of the brush it'll um naturally leave some white spaces you know some white spaces which is what you want just to sort of make it hmm, variation make it look like there's reflections or i think i was listening to someone the other day on about doing sort of pen and wash type stuff and one of the things they came across with was leave white space and there I think it's the right thing to do it does leave a give it a, I don't know give it a little bit of extra depth and meaning the only problem with it is well, no, 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 there is the advantage of it, not a problem of it. The advantage is it's easy to put more on, but it's a lot harder to take it off. That's what the argument towards it was. I think I know what they mean. I've never done this before. So it's a whole new new to what's it for me. I'll put a bit on there. Now, whatever I did on that that building there, let's transpire over here. One day to, towards the end, I'm praying that I can dry the bottom half and put a sort of a watercolor, a watery wash on it. Put some on there as well. Um, to give it that sort of watery effect. Well, we'll see. But I've established a palette now because I've just got that. I found that blob of burnt umber or whatever colour it is. I think it's burnt umber. Mixed up a little bit of flesh, which is. As I keep saying, one of my favourite mixes, a bit of red, a little bit of all sienna, just a nice fleshy colour. I don't want to do with that. I don't think it's um, overly important to make your own mind up, but what colour you want to paint the buildings. I think it works quite well, don't you? <coughs> I missed one. Yeah, I have. <gasps> yeah, last week's picture on YouTube, it's, it's had 153 views. Well, that's more than some of them get after they've been out there for months. Mm -hmm. well, it's quite... A lot of locals, perhaps. 
Well, fame at last. Mm -hmm. It's quite good fun, though. Really. Sort of clocking it, see see how many you get. This this um, oh, this is going to be nice. Add a bit of green to the mix. So I've got burnt umber, dollop of really nasty Prussian blue. Now I've just put a little bit of green in it. Sort of a sappy green. For this place over here. Oh, I'm quite enjoying this now. What are your thoughts, Chrissy, on doing this? Are you <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking in acrylics it might not be quite as straightforward. How would you how do you approach it? Yeah, it's tricky. Mm. I'm just gonna use a bit of that green around these around this bit. Yeah. Actually, build it up. Just think. Mix up a little bit. Extra shadowy grey colour. Some of these roof bits. Maybe a bit blue on top. So I've got the grey, am I? So it wouldn't hurt it. Just but you can fiddle around, which is the one thing that I didn't want to do. I want it to be. Light and fluffy. Meaningful. But light and fluffy here we got i'm using this palette because it might help um karen because she's bought one of these so i think she's still a bit down and down at the moment but i thought it'd be nice so that because I'm always recommending these palettes. If people see that, you know, that I'm just using them in a non fussy way, it might help. I think I'm going to go for it on this building. I know some of that in there. You do it. One place is always good. <laughs> you always have to do it somewhere else, don't you? The, it's the nature of the beast. It's good exercise, but it, these are much darker than they look. Let's get some real dark and see if I can pop in some information in these light bits over here. Probably not. There we go. I'm going to just do the parasol things, but it's all using the same palette, the same sort of colours, really. Just spotted a blue one, bluish one. I think it's that one. Come on, they can make you can probably make these stand out a bit. The one. No one. And 
Even on the play one? Yeah. Play me one over there. Bit of blue. The rest is flesh. I've just run out of. Or sand. If you've got our favourite, our other popular colour, June. Yeah. <laughs> or sand. Because these um, parasols and some of these things, they're all um, they're all purchased and used at the same the same. You know, I've been on a, I used to run a market store, and you go, <laughs> you see someone. Oh, where'd you get that? I'm, oh, on eBay or so and so and so and so. So you're straight down the on the internet next day and get one the same. And I remember at um, Wells in Somerset, the um, parasols there were owned, all put up for you by the market people. And they were all the same. So a lot of places do that, I think. I think I've missed a bit here. Should be another one there, don't matter. Bit of red. Always handy, a bit of red. To warm a picture up, remember? That hint of red. Yeah. We'll put some bigger bits in. We'll pretend we are. There'll be just be that that black and blue, uh, brown and blue. Just using mix up a bit of that dark stuff for a minute. Make sure we've got the pointy bit of the brush and. Just put some, just think figures, squiggly lines. Well, there's hundreds of them over there on that market store. Ah. Mm -hmm. There, if you think carrot, or not even that, then you'll get it. Just use the tip of it. Wiggle it around. There's a lot of people over this side. A lot of summit going on. It's just a straight line, really. That's what I'm thinking. We've got a little bit of dune or fleshy colour. Add that in as well. Because it's quite strong. Give that sort of body, body feel to it. Oh, I think it is. And it then across the bottom. I don't want colour to do the key side, so I think the the sandy, dewy colour will do it quite well. And I want it to go across where there, somewhere there. Mix up a bit more of that black, <gasps> blue and burnt umber. Where would I be with that blue and burnt umber? Mm -hmm. Goodness knows. It's the only colour I... It finishes all your pictures off. Should really turn it upside down to do that. Where does it sound? Oh, just here, wasn't it? Mm. Whatever. Yeah. More of that, that ready colour, I think. Or a bit of orangey red. Dab it in. So... The sequel is to paint two pictures, one upside down and one up the right one. 
but the um, you're okay with the water, the water because it's just you want it to be damp, don't you? So it can just fizzle away. I used the flesh of uh, June on those parasol things. A bit of blue on some. Yeah, this is so funny. Painting, painting upside down. I think if you can go for a nice bit of colour, Chrissy, it would help. Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking that. Well, I'm doing this deliberately in this sort of manner to say, don't get bogged down with it. Just have a, try and have a bit of um, a party <laughs> with colour. Or well, if you do it, I think the exercise in my mind was to do what I'm doing not get carried away with detail or any of that sort of thing just pretend you know what you're doing with a brush and just flick it about and see what happens and um, hopefully you'll get a, a a rough idea of I think I need a bit more. I'm using this sand colour there, but while it's damp, I'm going to drop in classic watercolour doodle, some darks into it. So it looks like, hopefully, it forms a wall. When it's dry, you can always put a. They're always. Oh, I was down the key today. I'm down the key every day. Because they're all the little rascal. Mm -hmm. But you'll always get those posts, the sort of wooden posts that keep the, the boats more up against and all that sort of schmeichel. I think um, I want to return the sender. No, this building, you know, I think it needs a little bit of DLC. It's um, a bit of a juggling act because the, the way the windows have dried. <laughs> You can't paint directly strong colour on them, otherwise you'll be in in the mire. So you're sort of I'm doing it there. I'm sort of crossing in between the windows, putting a cross and letting the water drizzle the paint along. This one needs a bit on, I think. It's just a grey tone, really. Just go with the flow, go with the feel. I think while I'm upside down, no, I'm not upside down, while I'm up this end, I'll um, put a bit of raw sienna at the bottom there. And use up whatever I've got in the palette. No, oh, I didn't have any blue, never mind. Pull up on that. Greyish milk. Reminds me of, um, who's that bloke? Used to paint matched all men and matched all cats. And yeah, L.S. Lowry. That's, that's what I had in mind, I think. That sort of almost childish. So he used to paint really quick and... When he uses oils, uses his fingers and all kinds of things. Am I off time, Chris? You're a good time keeper. Ten to. Oh, I'm nearly finished. Bloody hell. Oh. I was a bit worried that I would... Oh. That I'd... 
because um, I know everybody's keen to rush off and watch the football. Yeah, what time is that on? Uh, kickoff is 12. Yeah, but I, know, I never really worried about the first half because they all run around <laughs> shouting an orange in the first half. And then the second half is when they get a bit tired and that's when stuff starts happening. <laughs> Start getting goals and that then, don't we? The um these boat things I ain't got. I couldn't work out what, what's what with him anyway. Ooh, I've got a lot of water here on my palette. So on my brush. That's the one thing about these brushes. These mop type brushes, they use you know, they just pick up water like nobody's business. Bit of burnt sienna and some light blue. Ooh. Drizzled on it. That give you a sort of a a nice grey colour. This boat's got well it's gonna have a a dark browny grey bit underneath it. And some blue. Oops. Shaking my brush off here. Bit of blue there. And that black. Oh, I'm run out. Cool. You think that blob of burnt umber has been there for probably at least a year, probably two, waiting for me to find it. I thought I could just put a bit of blue to it and add to my picture. I don't know, it's going to be awesome, that. Right? Put some straight lines down here with the black. Dry this off. Put some you know, straight lines on. I think the sky is not too bad. Mm. Bit, um, a bit fascinating. Well, oh, quite like this. I think my old my old um adage was when a if you're at an exhibition, you know, showing your paintings off, was you wanted to do paintings or didn't really matter well, obviously the content does matter to a degree, but it was more in the aim was you wanted people to walk past and go stop and go, oh what's that? <laughs> <laughs> if you if, they, if you achieve that then you've got their attention then you can sort of hello there what's caught your eye <laughs> and you're into sort of sort of a sales mode don't you i've just added a bit of green here i think it's um hooker's green or it's one of those Show you in a sec. It's one of those horrible greens that you just wouldn't use on its own. Wow. Other than that, dry it off and then be brave. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that this, the, well, we'll see. This is the green that I was on about then. One of those, it's that green. I think that's Hooker, oops, Hooker's green. Something like that. Horrible. On its own, you couldn't really use it. It's not even, well, I suppose if you were painting artificial grass, perhaps. <laughs> even, it's even a bit strong just for that. Right. Hair dryer. And then
Well, whatever we do at the bottom, we're going to have to do it. So I'll, I'll change my water over. I've got two buckets here. One's clean, one's paint's grey now. Oh, right. Let's use the. Uh, so what I could do? Never done before. I've got this. Woo what is that? It's uh, Ron Ranson's cake. Large Ron Ranson cake. Cake. Fresh out the bag. Never been used before. I'm just going to use it. It's just clean water on it. Just going to put it across here. Ooh. I mixed up that horrible green colour, so I'm just going to put it on there. Mm -hmm. It's got burnt umber in it. That blob of could go down. Make more. Any of those colours, just this junk. But you can't do much. You can only do a little bit. you'll have to stop yeah lovely jubbly I'm gonna, i don't know what to make of them brushes those fake things i'm not 100 percent sure about them. flesh it's a bold color Adding in here, putting in some gaps with a bit of the flesh coat too. This is damp. I think my um, tidy up if I can, or spoil. Could be either either. It's a good colour to use, flesh tint. This sort of a neutral colour, it doesn't upset anybody. Tissue. Go a bit off here. There you go. We will go to the ball, Cinderella. Paper second wet is all, all wibbly wobbly. <laughs> it's like. Mm -hmm. Well, that's dry yet. Well, that burnt umber it seems to be my. I'm not sure it is burnt umber. Actually, it's, I think it's burnt sienna. Yeah, that's burnt sienna. Oh, no, that might explain a few bits. If I just put a bit of it, drop it in the bit in. Warms it up. 
Oh, she said, Gordon. He said, what's this about Dave? I said, he's warming up, a bit of a raw sienna. The finger up. <laughs> Well, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself this morning. Mm. Yeah. Don't know if that's the expression I'll be using when I go. No. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. Well, when it dries, I think I might be. Yeah, I'm going to give it now. I think it's one of those where you can, well, all my painters are one of those where you can sort of, you leave it to dry and then come back a few days later and think, oh, that needs a, a dollop of, you know, watercolour pencil and just tease it around. Just need more more bits of yellow. Mm -hmm. Just mirror one there, I think. A few bits. You're a big blob there, aren't you? Mm -hmm. But you can use a watercolour pencil. Or Chris, you can use an acrylic one just to put some blobs. You just, if you get the pencil, I've got one here. That's the right colour. Uh, I think it's yellow. Oh, it's a lemon yellow. But occasionally, I've left them lying around, and they've been damp. And I notice that it goes all squishy, <laughs> and you can just sort of push it and it, it sort of melts a, a, a water of colour on which is quite fun. Still not happy about mm, you know, a bit. Just think I should I think I should Get a, a wash of something. Just because I want it to be. And try and just. Oh. That worked. Mm. Well, just to say that it is what it is, or it could be. No. When it's dry, you can use a bit of tissue if you want just to break out some bits. Try and make it look like there's some reflection in it. Hmm. Whatever. It was always going to be a hard picture mm -hmm. to achieve in such a short period of time. I think it's one of those dry back, draw when it dries back, have a look at it, think about it, about it a bit more, and uh, come back. Hmm. In the meantime, what I'm going to do, hair dry it again. This is Christine's. Yeah, I'm down the Flashing up and down into the hair dryer.
He is looking tired. He is feeling tired. The paper. You can always tell. It sort of gets that, I don't know, non reactive feel to it. Um, anyone that knows me probably knows what's coming there. It's the rigor, the tube of this Linnell. It's French paint for a French picture. <laughs> Duar, Linnell, de France, Beauvoir, whatever. Am I bothered? Yeah, sorry. And uh, just go around, put some, I mean, there ain't enough arrows in this picture. Put some white bits in and up here. Just have a bit of fun with it, really. If you can be realistic, I think that might have some shutters on it. Then fine lines. As I say, it could be a an extended period of painting. I mean, how bored do you want to become? <laughs> well, no, because there's no end to it. You can be painting bits of white on top of what we've done now for quite some time, trying to a little bit of depth and information especially all these how many windows are oh, about 100 odd mm. that's quite a lot yeah but i think you could but the point right from the get-go was or is don't get bogged down with the detail and all that sort of stuff just have a bit of just have a bit of, well, okay, I don't know, if fun's an old, an old word. Just have a doodle. Just throw some paint at it, see what happens. Can't do anything terrible because if it didn't work, you just put a bit more on. You just go over it again. Being watercolor, even the gouache, it won't um, <clears throat> be too bright. It will fade back anyway when it's as it dries. As it dries, put some white in amongst the figures. Well, uh, the folk on the beach dancing with a brush. That's all it is, isn't it? If you put all that dark on, in a matter of easing it down a bit, I could have, first thing I think I should have spent a little bit more time with the bit in the water, a bit more of the dark, so as it dries. Needs to be sort of build it up a bit, a bit stronger. I think. If anything, the the water looks better than the on the reference image. It looks more interesting than the top. So there's a lesson to learn. <laughs> but you have to stick your own authority on it at some point. Your favourite brush out. It's on rock hard. It's a fan brush. Fan brush.
ทั้งแคบห่วงตายมั่งอยู่ดีทั้งแคบเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี
Darker than that. Darker, darker, darker. That's right. better. That's natural daylight. Yeah, yeah. That's the best one, I think. Yeah, well, that's how it is. That is more or less. Mm. Might have a bit. I don't know if I'll do any more to it or not, really. It's one of those pictures. Could actually, because it's not what you, the, what I wanted to achieve isn't um, an accurate doodle. I wanted it to be sort of throwing it up and it's like you're throwing all the colours in the air and they all came down and that's what happened. Mm -hmm. I like that sort of. Yeah, it's, mm. anyone, any idiot can paint it real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doing it different that makes it better. Yeah, mm. I like that. I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's nice. Well, it's good enough. Good enough for a short period. Oh, that was hard work there. <laughs> Yeah, it's not often I keep my glasses on all the way through. I'm going cross-eyed with all those windows. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. Let's uh, get the drawing done. It won't be spared. Mm. I think that's the the bit, the daunting bit is is uh, especially after you get past the first two build. Well, what I did, and I I say it on the video. Well, I drew one or one a bit. <laughs> Then went and checked my emails, <laughs> walked around and sort of did one building up, you know, came back and did another one. So in the course of a, a you know, part, part of a morning, it, it did a lot. Mm. But uh, you can always um, print my crib sheet out. It'll, Help. It might help. Should help. <clears throat> Anything's possible. Hmm. Oh well. Mm. <laughs> the more I look at it, the more I think I want to do something here and there. But I'm no, I don't want to. I've got to let it dry. Mm. Because the temptation is to turn it into something that normal. Yeah, well, you don't want to overwork it. I mean, those reflections no. look perfect at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah no, it's very nice. Now you can say bye. 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 <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.
baby.